In the aftermath of the New Zealand terrorist attack, what has the terrorist really accomplished? Assalamu alaikum. What's going on, everybody? One week after the New Zealand terrorist attack that claimed over 50 innocent lives, what has the terrorist actually accomplished? He went in with the intent to kill Muslims, he went in with the intent to end this morale, to destroy and fully end, put an end to immigration. He wanted to instill fear in all Muslims and anything Islam related. And he pretty much wanted to destroy and completely eliminate Islam. For all the terrorists out there, get ready to be disappointed because here is what happened in reality. The New Zealand Prime Minister and many women around the world wore the hijab or the headscarf to stand in solidarity with Muslims all over the world. The Prime Minister of New Zealand even quoted a hadith or the teachings and sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion and sympathy are just like one body. When any part of the body suffers, the whole body feels pain. New Zealand mourns with you. We are one. The call to prayer was broadcasted all over the radio, all over the television, all in public. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Police officers, biker gangs, and people from the community as a whole all stood in front of mosques to show their solidarity and protect Muslims during prayers. More people than ever have been researching Islam and visiting mosques to learn about this religion that they knew very little about. And just as a bonus, this racist, Islamophobic, xenophobic senator got egged by this guy who is now famously known on the internet as Egg Boy. Of course, only for the senator to then hit the kid, and then all his supporters tackled the kid and choked him out on the floor. First of all, I'm clapping for the kid, <laughs> way to go. Also, congratulations, Senator. You and your goons were harder on a kid who hit you with an egg than a terrorist with weapons who killed innocent people. You must be proud of yourself. Now, of course, I don't condone egging people. I don't condone these egg attacks. However, using your word, Senator, there's fear on both sides. And when people are in presence of such racist, Islamophobic, xenophobic, ignorant people, sometimes they get nervous and they start egging those people. In conclusion, out of this horrible tragedy, people were able to see Islam from a different perspective. People were able to see Islam in a different light rather than the media spread propaganda, the narrative about Muslims always being terrorists. In this case, people were actually able to see Islam. They were able to see Islam as a religion followed by over 1 billion people worldwide. And they were able to see Muslims, true Muslims, hardworking, loving, peaceful, ordinary people, migrants, citizens, regardless. Everyone saw each other as human beings. And as with everything, love and compassion always trumps hate and violence. And just a quick reminder before I leave you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Remember, no matter what anyone tries to do, always be proud of your religion, always be proud of your faith. Those terrorists will not scare us. And no matter how hard they plan and plot, remember, Allah is the greatest of planners. Thank you very much for watching. Please help spread this message. And until next time, assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.